Hi, this is Dan again. I'm assuming by now that this pachinko machine is in your home somewhere. Uh, whether you have mounted it on the wall or left it freestanding, um, we can certainly, if you need any help with that, please call me. Uh, but this video is designed to help you get the, the machine set up and ready for play. So the first thing that uh, you're going to want to do is plug the machine in. Uh, with the power supply. Again, it's, it's not necessary to plug it in. The machine will work just fine without power, but uh, if you want the lights to work, then you want the, the uh, light plugged in. So if you notice now you have a, a red light here and a red light here, uh, that's because there are no balls in the machine at this point, so those, those uh, lights are lighting up as they should. So let's turn this around show you how to get it ready okay now there's a couple of things I need you to check that are that are actually quite important one more one much more so than the other uh, right here get this out of the way right here is a, a lever okay and if you lo actually look on the other side of the machine you'll see a small plastic uh, hole and if you were to put a very thin rod in there, you could, you could push on this and make it do that. Now what that does is when it's normally set up, this, let me try this. I'm not good at doing this close up stuff because I can't see it. Where am I? Okay, right here where, where my finger is, right there. This is spring loaded and you want to make sure it's over and caught. Okay. Now watch when I, when I release it, it shoves over. So you want to make sure that's over and caught. And I'll show you why in just a second. So when this is over and caught, it, it creates a, a platform for the balls to ride over and into the jackpot chamber. So this is a maintenance function. If I were to do this, then all of the balls from this point, all of these balls, from this point go down this exit chute and fall out of the machine. It would only leave the balls that are in this area. Again, it's a maintenance thing. You probably never do it unless you want to take all the balls out of the machine. So first thing, check to make sure that that's over there because when we put balls in, if that's not over there, they're just going to go dumping out all over the place. The second thing you want to check is to make sure that what's called the jack, uh, I'm sorry, the seesaw lever is in the right spot. If you look inside this cover, you'll see a piece of white plastic, <clears throat> kind of rectangular shape, and right now it's sitting on an angle like this, exaggerated obviously. Um, during shipment, it may have tipped down, so you want to, right by your light, there's a, a rod that you can push up on, and if that jack, the seesaw chamber is down, by pushing on that rod it will tip it back up and that's where you want to start uh, when, you, when you go to play the, the game because a winning ball will come into the machine and internally it goes down to the end of that, that seesaw. So the seesaw is sitting like this, a ball comes in to the end of it, the weight of that ball tips it and then drops off and then it would continue down through this path and exit out the machine. So that's the proper functioning of, of that, that seesaw chamber. Once the seesaw does its tip, it releases a mechanism that then goes up, releases the balls that are being held in the jackpot chamber. They tip down, they go out a chute to here, ring off the bell and go out the front of the machine. So it, everything is connected. And again, if this is not up to begin with, then, then that won't work. Okay. All right. Now, one, another thing I want you to notice is there's a switch right here. And right now it's, it's being made, if you will. Uh, this arm is pressing the two leafs together and it lights the lights. If I push up on, I'm sorry, if I pull down on this, you notice that the, the leaf switch opens. It turns, it turns out the lights. These are top heavy. Be careful. It turns out the lights. Okay. So, that's one function of, of this, and I'll show you another function of this, this rod here in just a second. So I'm going to put some balls in here, and this is going to be pretty noisy, so I'll shut up while I load it with balls.
My suggestion is to get at least 300. Um, the machine will probably hold closer to 500. Um, so now that, that there's balls in the upper tray, they go down this chute in a, in a double row. They turn the corner in a double row. When they get here, one row goes on this side of the jackpot chamber with seven balls and one side fills this side of the jackpot chamber with seven more balls. So the payout when you get a win is 14 balls, seven on each side. So now this is down. It lifted this up off the micro switch so the lights are out. It also, when it, when it pivots, it lifts up on this rod or this, this piece of metal here, okay? And that's where you want it to be. Now that right there, is attached to an, another rod that goes out to the front of the machine. And, and I'll show you that when I swing it back around. So right now we're ready to, to go uh, from the back side of the machine. Everything is, is fine and ready to go. So let's swing this back around. Oh, the other thing that you're gonna want is some sort of a, a catch box. Um, this, I, I build these out of wood and, and put some soft stuff in them. You wanna have a box that's wide enough to go from, from this side to here because these are two places that the balls will drop out of the machine. Um, a losing ball drops out of here. A winning ball will drop out of this chute so you need to be able to catch them um, and uh, it doesn't matter how what you make it. It can be a Tupperware bowl, it can be a cigar box, it doesn't, there's no criteria for it. It's just something that will catch the balls, okay? Let me swing this around. Oop, I went the wrong way. There we go. Okay. All right, now we're, we're back. Okay. Let me get the catch box where it belongs. Okay. So, let me open the front door. And there's a tab here that you push down on, and that will allow you to open... Um, the top tray door. Now this contains the ball handling mechanism right in here. This is the ball handling mechanism. And right now this, this arm is down and it's got a flag that, that prevents balls from going down into the machine. Now when you close this What's supposed to happen is this arm is supposed to go up over this arm so that this arm is on top of this arm. And that's that arm that's connected to the, the play field. So when you close this, sometimes you need to give it a little bit of help and make sure and I missed it that time. I'll work on that. Hopefully by the time you get it, I'll have got that better. Okay, so now that's on top. What that does is it pulls that flag out of the way and lets balls go down into the chamber. Now, eventually as you play and you lose balls out of the upper hopper, um, the weight will shift, the lights will come on, and it will drop that flag back in so that you, you can't launch any more balls. So the machine's all ready to go. I'm just going to put a handful of balls in the upper tray. Now the first time you, you press down and let go, uh, nothing will happen. It takes one cycle to get a ball actually inside, so nothing happens. Now the second time, it will launch a ball. a tension adjustment on the launch spring. I'll show you where that is in just a second. There we go. 
the lights come on. Again, when, when this pocket is, is uh, a winner, it will open this tulip. And when the tulips are open, it's a lot easier to get a ball into the open arms of a tulip than the closed one. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little more pressure on the launch, trying to get the, the balls to There we go. There, that one's through the center. And that, that will open these two. So as you, the more you win, actually, the easier it gets to play. Um, again, there's a there's a tensioner back here. Um, I'll show you real quick. If you want the balls to launch a little further or not quite as far, there's just a, a metal thing here with a bunch of holes in it. This would increase the launch tension. That would decrease the launch tension. So you just kind of get it the way you want it, right in there. So hopefully that's answered all your questions. Um, if you have any more, please call me. Don't hesitate to call me, email me, whatever. Um, I am always here to support you in any way I can. Thanks again for your purchase, and I hope you have a lot of fun with the machine.